Okay, working on two big projects today. One was continuing to work on the flooring, getting this all squared and um, now bolted down as well. I'll show you the front part in just a bit, but the other uh, part that I was working on was the skirt boards. I changed out this rear curbside um, skirt board. This piece was what I thought was pretty decent, uh, but actually it was not really holding a screw very well. So I changed out with a piece of uh, hardwood and some fur. And uh, now I'm seeing how a little better how this skirt board goes along with the chassis board and how that's providing support for the wall. Once I pulled this skirt board out, the whole wall just shifted down. So this entire wall here is really weight bearing on this skirt board. The other thing I noticed, which I failed to notice before, was the skirt boards connected to the chassis board through carriage bolts. So what I'll have to do, uh, once I get the, um, the siding in, the panel which sits down in between the chassis board and the skirt board then i'm going to drill a hole for the carriage bolt and that's really what's going to hold this skirt board onto the chassis board and i do have the skirt board sitting on the frame as well so really i've got points of uh, support through the carriage bolt the frame and another carriage bolt up here so now I'm really understanding this system right here uh, much better. So I'm feeling pretty good about where I'm at with that. And I'll, I'll also go back up and change out or make sure I've got the, the front skirt boards a little bit better. And so now actually you see what I've done here is I was putting screws in here to hold this skirt board temporarily to the chassis board. But I really shouldn't have done that because that screw sort of fixed the distance between the chassis board and the and the uh, skirt board. So now I've got it clamped sitting on the frame. And so now uh, this will be, be a better temporary fixed. But again, once I um, put the paneling in and the paneling will go right down in between the skirt board and the chassis board all the way down underneath. Then I'll drive uh, a couple holes in and put in some uh, carriage bolts to hold that whole system together and that's what's going to carry the weight of the uh, of the side so pretty pretty good I uh, feel pretty good about understanding that also spent some time making sure I've got the floor uh, in nice and square and now I'm using these um, T-bolts which uh, right now I have them screwed down with a hex bolt underneath the hex bolt is coming up I've got a lock washer down underneath there. This uh, is a nut that screws down into the plywood. And then what I'll do when I get this where I want it and I feel really good about it, then I'll just uh, cut it off right here. And then this bolt will just be nice and flush with the, uh, with the floor, which will make it a lot easier to put the flooring in. So I put uh, that in, tighten that down, tighten that down. And I did two more here, and what I noticed was my plywood was not exactly flat. And it was actually bowing up here, and I could not uh, get it uh, to uh, flatten out. So I did go get a heavy-duty clamp, clamped it down, and uh, that uh, hopefully will hold. I've got the bolt screwed down. I also started sinking some nails to just to help hold it down, and I'm hoping to bend the board flat and then I'll feel pretty good about it. I've done this board, I've done the middle board as well. And you see the carriage bolts sticking up through uh, the bottom. I've not done the back one yet. I, uh, I purchased the wrong number. I only got 10 of these and I broke one. So uh, I need to go and get, uh, get a few more for uh, the back panel. All right. So what else did I do today? Well, actually uh, I started staining the pieces of paneling this paneling is actually gonna go on the front wing. I measured this out and you'll see it's rectangle, but it's gonna go right there and replace that because remember that's a template. So what I did, and I'm learning this from watching a bunch of videos, is I kept this out rectangular and put it on. And then once I know the dimension, the final dimension of that, then I can route it down to the right size when it's actually on uh, the side. So I'm using a natural stain. I'm doing two coats and I also stained uh, 
two other ceiling panels. So I've got uh, all the ceiling panels ready to go. Actually, I gotta put a coat of clear coat on them. But I'm trying to get the staining going. So I'm pretty committed now to a color scheme where I'm gonna do uh, the natural stain for the maple. And uh, I think the floor, and I'm gonna do some tile with uh, red and white. You can see I'm starting to sand down the cabinet. I'm either going to stain this or paint it. You can see it's pretty choppy right now, so we'll see if I can uh, get that down. It is Sunday, so Grant is doing his thing too. A lot of stenciling. How's your project going? It's going good. Got oh, wow. That's down. looking great. Yeah. That's going to look pretty good. That's I'm awesome. I feel pretty good about finally getting that in. Yeah. I noticed the foam wasn't perfectly straight, but that's not a problem. That, yeah, that's okay, because you're going to have some other trim on there that's going to uh, cover that. And that's what I'm learning, too, is where I can cover up with trim. Yeah, and the plywood will sit on top of that. And that's great. All right, gap. so that's that's a foam, and uh, that's your subfloor. And then you're going to put some solid wood on top of that. Yep, and then the vinyl on top of that. So and then the vinyl on top of that. Three cool. layers total, or four layers total, including the corrugations. Ah, oh, very good. Well, and for you, I guess like me too, is once you get that flooring in, that's sort of a key. That's yeah, it'll, uh, just, it'll just feel good. Yeah. Seeing the floor in, then I can start working on the walls and ceiling. Awesome. All right. Well, that's uh, our update for Sunday.